Oh, yes. <gasps> yeah, I'm less stressed now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. You're nervous? <laughs> yeah, I'm so nervous. Are you? Because this is a movie that we reference the most, and we always talk about this yeah, movie, and it's I, just, it's so, ooh. I know what we're reacting to. You watch yes. this? No, no, but I just know. <laughs> You're so glued to the screen already. Yeah. It already starts really well. I love this one. Spider-Man is my beloved. <laughs> it's nice how excited you are for this. <laughs> I, get, I get goosebumps. Just the sound effects. Uh, <laughs> like I texturing, like man. <laughs> it's always the texturing that's like... That's the way the, the last one st uh, ended, I mean. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's the end of the last movie, right? Wait, he has a comic book about him now? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, that looks so cool! <gasps> Is he older? Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. He's triangle, Dorito. Uh, Everything that's, looks that's so cool. That's chromatic aberration. Yeah, the lines. I'm so oh. fucking happy. Ah, the hands look so good. Hey, are these your I love her. Look Ooh. at this. He's in I love. I want to know. Yeah, of course he's in love. <laughs> I wish I could draw like that, honestly. You can. No, I can't. <laughs> her hair. Yeah, it's pink and the yeah. ends. They changed that, right? He looks, he looks so, so tall. Old. <laughs> he looks so much older and like broader he's so and so skinny and lanky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like A broad shoulders. <laughs> Bummer. And oh, this is so nice. Like how she falls out and then just stands. She's so there. elegant. Yeah. Oh, oh. so nice. <gasps> wow. She's so cool. She's so cool. I love how they do the background. Do so you hear cool. his theme in the background? Miles theme. I see you sideways. Yes. I see you. <laughs> oh, uh, dude. So can they like travel between universes now? Yeah, like in the post credit scene of the first movie, they had Miguel. Fucking neon lights. <sighs> Oh wow! God, this is insane. Yo, what the fuck? This is a style change. I wow. would like to have their shader. <laughs> Same. Oh, 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 oh. What? What's his name? He's a, a, a Spider-Man 2099 uh, or something. Yeah, isn't his name Miguel? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a lot just of so nice. Too. They're not just changing places, but the places also have different styles. I mean, that makes sense though, right? Because in the first one, they had different characters with yeah, different true. styles, so it makes sense. Damn, even the <laughs> title looks cool. <laughs> I bet there's like a hundred Easter eggs in this glitch. Parton? Oh, oh, part part <laughs> I can't read. Part part there's gonna be another one. There's gonna be another one. <sighs> yeah, I'm less stressed now. <laughs> so this was the first look for Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Part one. Part one. There's gonna be a part two. <laughs> the movie will come out in October 2022. Uh, That's so long. It, it is directed by Joaquim Dos Santos, Kemp Powers, and Justin K. Thompson. It's produced by Columbia Pictures and Sony Animation in collaboration with Marvel. We actually, we share a flat together and yeah. we have roommates and he's really into Spider-Verse. So we're here in his stead and we're gonna uh, represent. Yeah. Hugo, we're doing this for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's fair. He embarrassed me with a fiddle okay, stick yeah. video. The, this is my revenge. The, I love just like the comic aspect that's a great thing that they mix comics and 3d i love this it's just like printing comics but i think everyone knows that basically when you yeah. print c yes. m y k and sometimes it messes up and it's not perfect it just yeah. doesn't align perfectly yes. it looks like chromatic aberration it is not chromatic aberration everything has comic <laughs> shaders like they have outlines is it supposed to be the same scene i wonder the last movie because he they seems didn't, older they didn't have that model yeah. yet i they guess it's Seems, this, yes. The expression, the pure fear in his eyes when he sees the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> this trailer is full of great fucking composition. Mm. Like, we start with this full focus on Gwen. Mm. Miles, to me, Miles just looks like you took the model and you just like stretched him like this. He's so long. Look at how long he is. <laughs> I remember being that age and feeling really tall and awkward. Mm. I'm almost six foot tall. And I was like a stick for a while. <laughs> and that's what Miles looks like to me right now. <laughs> Ooh, does he box now? That's cool. Oh, it's from his uncle. Oh. Um, no. Just very quickly. <laughs> look at how nice the room is. Like, no wonder my kid recreated that room. It says so much about the character. Fucking action figures, the books. Uh, the environment, okay. Because right, I, you I, I analyzed. 
He modeled fine. the full room of Miles. Okay, so what's changed? The the poster is different. So Anyways, this is the same. Uh, the trophy is the same. This thing is the same with a different picture. No, the bed's the same. Different sheets. It's more or less the exact same model, which makes sense, obviously. Talking about the animation, obviously it's glorious. But also here, it's just really nice how she's very calm and he's a frenzy mess of movement. And that's a really nice contrast in the character acting because if both of them were super hyperactive, it would be a bit too much. I love the animation where Gwen uh, rolls out of the window. It's mm. so cute. So, the same first time. of all, doubles and smear frames. Hell yeah, yeah we love yes. that. Wait, is that? <laughs> all of these like little legs are put in manually by the animators. This is magic to me, I don't understand <laughs> We have warm colors coming from here, cold colors coming yeah. from there. Yeah. And then they walk towards the warm color, which is basically going into adventure. Frame in frame, that's yeah. a common technique. And then we get those doubles here that they love mm, to use. Mm. It's not doubles in the way of smear frames, mm -hmm. it's like how they make stuff look out of focus in Spider Verse. Yeah. Theoretically, if somebody falls out of the window, that would not be enough time for her to already stand up straight. Yeah. Especially because also she puts her mask on in the time and it just really shows how quick and precise she is. Look at that, it's so nice and so much tension in her body, fucking like sinus curve or something, like this is like straight and then her legs do this. <laughs> so nice. I'm just in awe how, how much detailed it is here in the front. The farther the distance, the less info they have. Here's like complete darkness and here's like Yeah, she's light. like... She stands out with her being white and he stands out with like being a bit darker in the uh, bright area. You also have mm. this beautiful shadow line here. Yeah. Spider-Man with their mask, it's so nice to see good character acting also like you know what Gwen is like doing when she does a little hat turn and maybe a little bit of a change in the eyes because you don't have an expression so you gotta do it all with body language. Oh my god look at the chromatic aberration over here but this makes it that we only focus on her. I'm so excited now because this trailer's like showing they're gonna go from like spider-verse to spider-verse and every spider-verse is gonna have like different textures like different sound effects it's gonna be so much fun oh the posing it's Wait. so fast like is it on twos yeah oh the background cool. is on ones but it's cool like yeah. i like that it is on twos because it makes yeah, it I think, more like the style looking. is cooler and like in the story it made sense you know to have this oh well the thing is in 3d it's easier to make a lot of frames than it is in like 2D because in 2D you have to draw every single one of them but in 3D it's not a technical limitation mm. it's a choice <laughs> and it doesn't make a bad animation if it has less frames yeah <laughs> and here it specifically it works because they were going for a sort of comic book style and because of the on twos animation it makes it a bit more choppy but enough to have that special kind of feeling that they were going for. People who draw Spider-Man or animate Spider-Man have to know so much about anatomy or how to make a silhouette look good. It's so important to get good silhouettes because that's how you tell most of the action when they're swinging. It's just nice poses. It's even if you like don't see yeah. it's like a shoulder accent here. Like with fast things like this you want to make sure yeah. that you can see everything just based on the silhouette. Look at the line of action in this one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do these kind of poses in real life, so you kind of expect them to look natural for him. That's again. why animation is the perfect medium for Spider-Man. <laughs> and whenever he gets close to the camera, he slows down a bit, so we can see more of him, and then he goes, Roop, and he's gone again, and, Roop, and he's here again. And they stay on this really long time. Also, I like how they like in, in the character, because he's pretty much just like a black shape. They use these red shapes to distinguish the form so that when yeah. they go into each other, you can still separate them. The action lines, they're all like drawn over. Very textured okay. action lines that fit with the style of the background. Look at this mirror frame, they're definitely drawn over. There's some yellow rim lines that actually pop off with the, they are actually complementary color if you look at this blue and yellow. <laughs> they drew those lines by hand probably yeah, now okay there because, we go that's new that's new that's because first of all it's new. on twos yeah. and then second of all they change with every second yeah. frame so they have to be hand drawn yeah. because that would be a pain in the ass to do in 3d yes absolutely oh the smear frame in that one holy shit look like how he blobs oh, <laughs> he's so like <laughs> his hand yeah <laughs> his arms are going like Ooh. 
<laughs> even like his hands have a very strong, clear silhouette as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, hand shapes are always really important. Like either you want them to like be nice and visible. Usually, you, like group fingers together when you draw or animate fingers, or you can see all the fingers. Or if you have a fist, you want to make sure that the fist is like a nice shape. In a professional production, they usually make shapes for you. So like you'll have your hand, and then you have one hand that's like this, and one hand that maybe does this, and then when you're animating, you can like switch between them. But if you want something else than that, you have to go in and move every single little digit of the finger. Animating fingers takes forever. <laughs> and it never cuts. That's really cool. That's crazy. I okay. just realized, is this a one shot? No, they cut here, I think, right? No. No. Oh. No, it's all one. <gasps> it's so cool. <laughs> this is insane. You're just so in the action because of that. Uh, someone once said that one animator to do one second of animation, it took uh, a whole week. And this is like a 30 second shot, so... Mm -hmm. Like, you can imagine how long this took, especially with such dynamic posing. There's um, very quick turns here. Mm -hmm. Then he goes like, Wee! Oh, what's oh, happening here? I didn't notice that the first time I watched yeah, it. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so cute. It's like, oops. Uh, it becomes a clothes hanger for a second. <laughs> such a fun sequence. You need to plan all of this and then passing the animation between people or you have one person animating like the entire thing. <laughs> you can say you animated this by yourself then honestly you're an animation god. Look at this, look at this gloves. His eyes are so big. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the sound effects that they have, like the comic sound effects? are different because now they look like it's a different language? Yeah. Like I heard somewhere that they're like in India. Look, we have here, what was it called again? Onomatopoesy. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 see the, the billboards. Oh, that's so cool. So if they're in a different country, the sound effects also have a different language. Yeah. Mark, Do you see how they, the lens flare is? Oh, yeah, it is like an Indian, it kind of looks... Yeah, it, it looks has like, this, like a uh, ornament. Yeah, yeah exactly. I just love that they use complementary colors like this violet against the yellow which makes it pop mm. out and then you have this black red shape going through the composition. <laughs> I also like how how uh, he breaks those lines here this mm. with a straight diagonal right against those lines here. The style of Spider-Verse is works in a way where they put like floating lines in as well. It's also like uh, the buildings basically almost have no shadows. The shadows are mm -hmm. lines. There's not a shadow because the sun comes from here, mm -hmm. but it's just thicker lines where yes. shadows would be. Yes. You give an object in 3D a material that mm -hmm. basically says ignore the surrounding lights, just have a solid color and then you put textures on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for reacting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing it to us.